but it's it's not a dollar toward the wall. And look, your district is home to about 70,000 federal workers, mm -hmm. right? They're yes. particularly impacted by this. And in November, you told me, quote, using federal workers as a bargaining chip for political purposes, I don't think that's good or right to do, and I don't think it's good for the left to do it. So when you speak to Leader Pelosi, will you tell her, let's give a little toward the wall, give a little, get a little, let's get the government back open? Well, this legislation includes tens of millions of dollars for border security. But it doesn't you know? include, so Jennifer, not to parse words here, but the words are really important, especially to this president who has to sign it. None of that allocated $1.3 billion goes, can go toward the wall. Right, but the, the, the border security is more than just a, a concrete wall. And even the administration allegedly has come off of that over over the time and talking about uh, you know metal slats and other kinds of border security nobody is denying that we need strong borders and we need border security but there are smarter ways to do it than a giant concrete wall you think the president doesn't okay so i guess i just wondering to put a button on it are you supportive of democrats uh putting a dollar toward a wall I think we need to explore all of our options and what we what we are going to be putting forward today as I mentioned includes tens of millions of dollars for border security for smart border security for high tech border security um, there's no reason to use a medieval response to a 21st okay. century problem that okay that sounds like no that sounds like a no in terms of a dollar toward the wall let's move on to the history being made